you know, a year ago when I was here, we had just finished a Q4 where the S&P was down about 14% and concerns about recession were very high. We came in and reported very strong numbers for the performance of our portfolio companies in the index with double digit revenue and profit growth. And we said those expectations looked wrong and it, we turned out to be correct. And we're now look at full year 2019 growth of profit in our portfolio actually turned out to be higher than full year 2018. And an area of particular strength coming into Q4 of 19 has been industrials. It's, it's very interesting that you say that because when we began the hour with the report on the beige book, one of the areas that they said was challenged was the industrial or the manufacturing sector of the American economy. But there's a distinction there, which I'd love for you to, to dwell on for a minute, in, in the kinds of companies that are part of your portfolio and your index and the others that are not. And yours are doing better than those. Exactly. I think aggregate industrial, uh, aggregate manufacturing numbers uh, include a very big component of uh, oil and gas drilling, of General Motors, of Boeing, of equipment manufacturers for the farming industry. The segments of manufacturing that are focused on the domestic economy outside of those areas is actually performing very, very well. Not only very good growth in profits, but expanding margins, which is something that's uh, especially interesting at this stage of an economic recovery. In fact, it's consistent with mid-cycle, not consistent with late cycle. So it's very, very bullish. Another key part of the economy right now is and has been the U.S. consumer. A lot of those retail earnings reports we don't get until the tail end of the reporting season. What, are you, what is your index telling you right now about the consumer and some of those related companies, what we may be hearing? Well, I was a little surprised to see the relative lack of strength in Target's revenue numbers. They had decent same-store growth, but not as strong as we would have expected. We've had consistent 3.5% unemployment for months, the highest number of employed Americans ever, real job growth of 2%, uh, nominal job growth of over 3%. So you have more people working, more people earning. The growth rates are even higher at the lower end of the income spectrums. And we see that driving strength throughout the domestic economy. And I spe expect in the aggregate, without calling winners and losers within retail, in the aggregate, the numbers ought to be very strong.